slab. You know, we can learn a thing or two from even the most uh, peculiar people. Observe. Hello, revolting slob. I'd like to teach the viewers a few new words. My goodness, are you eating packing material? Let's take a closer look. What? You are. You're eating styrofoam. Taste good. <laughs> now, audience, please don't try this at home. Okay. Is what the revolting slob eating? A. Indiscernible. B. Indigestible. Or C. Indistinguishable. <laughs> the answer is B. Indigestible meaning impossible to digest or tough on the tummy. Well, revolting slob, perhaps you should put those away. They're not good for you. Yes, they are. I don't think so. Now, the revolting slob thinks styrofoam is good for you. Is he A, inaccurate, B, incapable, or C, inspirational? The correct answer is A, inaccurate which means wrong, wrong, wrong. Those styrofoam pieces are terribly bad for you. More! Really, revolting slob, you've got to believe me. Those things are nasty. No, they're not. No. Yes? No, they're not. You're no, no, so no, no, insistent. No, no. Audience, when the revolting no. slob gets like this, is he being A, adequate, B, adamant, or C, atomized? <laughs> Bless you. The correct answer is adamant, which means stubborn as a mule. No! I rest my case. Shall we review? The revolting slob is eating styrofoam bits which are completely indigestible. Good for you. He says they are good for you, which is inaccurate. Good for you! The revolting slob is adamant that styrofoam is good for you. And that's all for today. Thank you, revolting slob. Oh, and by the way, atomize means to be reduced to tiny particles. No slobs were hurt in the filming of this show. 